Hi. What we're going to do today is a very simple linear regression in Stata. And you can see here that all we've done so far is just open up Stata. There's not much to it. If you want to follow along with me and do what we do, so to speak, then um, there is a data set. There are various data sets, sample data sets inside Stata. Let's use one of them. Uh, we're going to type in sysuse uh, auto. And that's going to bring up this particular data set. You know what? Here's something that you guys could learn. Let's uh, change the font on this thing to make it just a little bit bigger. All right. So let's do that again. Sysuse uh, auto. That might make it easier for you to follow. It's the same data set. Here it is. You can see the variables up here on the right hand side. This is the 1978 automobile pricing data. And I can come over here to data editor and take a look at uh, what that, wow, what that data actually looks like. So here are all of these vehicles that had a price. I assume this is the dollar price of the particular vehicles. And you have some other stuff here like miles per gallon, headroom, the weight of the vehicle, how long they are, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And so what we're going to do is run a very, very simple regression. You can find information about regression by typing help regress and you get a beautiful help um, function here that tells you how to regress something. Here's your syntax. You're going to type the word regress followed or reg. That's why this is underlined, followed by the dependent variable, whatever you're going to use. We're going to use price. We're going to try to predict price. And then however many independent variables you want. We're going to do a state stepwise regression for now. And so let's just keep it real simple. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to regress. Again, you could type in reg if you want to shorten it down, but regress the price as my dependent variable. And in this case, miles per gallon as my independent variable. And we get a very simple uh, linear uh, regression result here. You'll notice in this particular example that the coefficient for miles per gallon is actually negative. Uh, don't be confused. This is 1978. People in 1978 didn't really care about, you know, gas prices or the environment or, you know, they were like their big, big, fat, beautiful Cadillacs which ate up a lot of gas. So if you see this result while you're practicing, don't freak out. It's perfectly fine. One of the things I like to do here once I have this and I see my results and I want to say I want to add another variable is I hit page up. If I hit page up, it'll give me the uh, previous line and I'm going to include some other variable. Now, maybe I don't want to type it in, um, but let's say I want to use the weight of the vehicle uh, I can double click on weight and you'll see that it pops right back into my regression down here at the bottom. I hit return and it gives me a brand new regression. You'll notice that here uh, I have miles per gallon. It's a different coefficient than it is above. And I also have weight. And here are the two coefficients. Now I'm doing a, a multiple regression as opposed to a simple regression. But I can go look at my T scores or my... Uh, my significance values and see that, oh, wait a minute, there's a big shift here. Uh, something's weird. Something's different. Maybe if I do miles per gallon alone by itself, oh, that's a really, you know, now I've got triple zeros and so on. Um, but let's go back up to multiple uh, miles per gallon weight and let's throw in something else. Let's do displacement, cubic inches, right? That's probably the size of the engine. I'm going to bring in displacement. Uh, this is our third step in our regression. And you can see here that that particular combination of variables doesn't give us anything. Uh, at this point, we're just throwing spaghetti on the wall. Uh, we have no theory. We're just playing here with Stata. Um, so let's keep it, again, real simple and go back to miles per gallon and run a regression on that one. But you know what? There's a lot of stuff here and it's really weird. I'm going to go up to my display screen and I'm going to do a little right click and clear results. Start from scratch. Hit page up or whichever version of page up and just do the simple regression. And again, back to normal, right? Let's go through the uh, regression results for a second. This guy up here is my ANOVA table, right? Some of the squares, degrees of freedom, 
uh, and so on, mean squared issues, etc. All of this table and the combinations in here are going to give me my f variable. Uh, the probability greater than f is nice. R squared is 2196, not fantastic. Uh, we probably want more variables to make it bigger. There's our adjusted R squared is just really, really close. Um, the coef here's the variable, here's the coefficient for the variable, standard error, which is going to allow us to calculate t. Um, here is you know the probabilities thereof, and then the 95% confidence interval for said uh, results. So this is the simplest way to do simple regression, or at least a one univariate simple regression. We talked a little bit about the multiple regression in there, but uh, maybe we'll do that in greater detail in another um, in another video. Good luck.